Welcome to cabin 2305 on the Carnival Panorama. This is a cove balcony. We're going to give you a room tour here. So we've got our door here. We've got the eye hole so you can see who's a knocking and you can cover it up so the light doesn't get in when you're trying to sleep. And you've got your deadbolt here. And this is the card slot for the lights. So you need to have something in there. It doesn't need to be your card. It can be any plastic card or even a piece of paper. A business card actually works quite nice. And that's the light switch there. And let's come take a peek. We got some closet space. Quite a lot of hangers, which is kind of nice. Both sides there. Don't know what that metal rod's for. And there's a mirror, which is nice because I can kind of create the illusion of additional space, whether you have it or not. There's a little uh, look at the cabin there. Let's go take a look at the bathroom. Before we do that, we've got our do not disturb snoozing sign. It is snoozing on both sides. You used to be able to request uh, turn down service with the other side of that sign, but not anymore. And that's the light switch there for the bathroom. Let's go take a look in the bathroom. Pretty standard configuration. We've got three hooks on the door, and you've got a locking mechanism there. This is the shower. Let's see what condition the shower head is in. That looks pristine. Might as well be brand new, almost. Almost looks brand new. And to get your shower gel, your shampoo. Precaution against scalding before using shower. Test the water temperature before entering. If you need that sign, I don't know. <laughs> Here's the control here. So this is for temperature. It has temperature in Celsius. And here we have stop and on, basically. Drain down there. There is the towel, so you don't get your, uh, your uh, floor all wet from your feet when you come out of the shower. And there's your standard toilet. Probably sounds like a jet engine when you flush it. And there's the flush button there. Do not throw bulky items into toilet. And we've got a sign about not using more than you need to. So if you can continue to use a towel, leave it on the rack. But if it needs to be replaced, then you put it on the ground and they'll know. And there's the toilet paper and something to clean the toilet, which hopefully you won't need to use. We've got a little swing out mirror from behind these towels, which is kind of nice. And uh, yeah, we do got a couple of hand towels, a couple of face cloths and a couple big size towels. And we've got some additional Kleenex down there. Uh, some uh, sanitary disposal package, Kleenex, a garbage. Here is an evacuation card. Just leave it. Uh, that's if the ship has to be evacuated. That is only for staff. Don't touch that. There's your Kleenex that you can use. And of course, your carnival soap. Let's take a look at the soap. There you go. Standard soap. Nothing too special. <laughs> and then you've got a glass there. And you've got a glass there some shelving and up top we do have a plug here this is meant only for shavers though something to keep in mind some more shelving on the other side and here's your sink and faucet that was the bathroom let's continue looking here that's where you can find the safe some drawers and some additional shelving there and then coming on into the desk so remember this is the carnival panorama she's a vista class so she's got a little bit more power than your normal ship got two regular three-prong outlets and two USB. I still recommend bringing along a Tron power cube just in case that's not quite enough for your particular group of people. We've got a lot of technology these days and you want to keep it charged. So check a link below for that. I find it's useful to have to add additional power. And there's the phone. And again, you see it's room 2305 Carnival Panorama. And so a lot of the paperwork has been done away with and replaced with QR codes. So here's sort of the directory. Some things that's good to know, scratch pad and a pencil. We've got a letter. This is talking about staying healthy, recommending a face mask, although it's not required. These things are subject to change frequently. Got a couple of glasses there. Now these waters are not the free waters that you get with red VIFP loyalty level and above. You need to go to a bar to get that. Uh, there's the remote control that has not changed as long as I've been cruising and you got the couch here which I think would be a pullout if you need it but we don't and you've got your towel a light some art table and then we've got uh, a light here on the side of the bed this is in the king configuration we have here this is a mat to put your luggage on so you don't get the bed all nasty with your luggage and there's a light switch there so you can turn the lights on and off from your bedside and uh there's the TV, and you're gonna have behind this curtain, notice there's the bed stand, behind this curtain, you got a window looking out onto your cove balcony. Let's go take a look. It is currently locked. So 
So there's a the locking mechanism there. You notice it's high up so that children can't get to it if you want to lock this door, if you have concern about children going out unattended. And that was the Cove Balcony itself here in Long Beach. So if you found this video useful at all, please give it a thumbs up. We'll make more like it. Let us know in the comments what did you think. Did we show you too much detail? Did you wish this was a little faster? Was there something else you wanted to see more of? Let us know. We'll do our best to accommodate. Don't forget to subscribe for more travel videos. We'll give you tips on how to travel more cheaply so you can travel more often. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.